Hi guys, feeling pretty rough actually. Um, got stuff to do as well. Um, going down the village to my son's house. Uh, I've still got shopping to fit in somehow. Got some bits and pieces to do. I picked up a piece of beef off the butcher yesterday. Um, so it'll be a beef dinner if I get around to it. <laughs> and I've still got some videos coming out of the year I was like. So. But anyway, uh, I've got to go, so I'll get back to you later. So, um, yeah, I'm not going down the village to my son's house now. I've just blow-dried the wife's hair. And uh, she's gone. Uh, my daughter's walking her down the village. I've just been to the toilet, and while I was there, the phone rang three times. It turns out it was just somebody wanting to know where the wife was. So... <laughs> Usual stuff, isn't it? You're rushing around, your trousers bloody hanging around your ankles. Uh, so anyway, I've got to go and do some bits and pieces now. Uh, not having a good day with me head at all. Uh, I've got to go and get some bits of veg for tea and some other bits and pieces. And uh, what else? Oh, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Uh, and then I've just got these videos to do and stuff like that and then I'm sure I'll end up picking the wife up so I'll probably catch you in the car guys oh dear it's uh it's been one of them I don't know really I've been sort of lacking in a bit of get up and go this last week well, actually no the week of work wasn't too bad well really um, but get up and go this weekend oh. uh, Friday night um, the old dog he's just had me up and down up and down um, sometimes I'd have only been back in bed half an hour and he needed to go again and it's not like you, you know he was just sort of like taking the piss because he <laughs> uh, no he really did need to go you know you get him outside and that was it he went um, so he's obviously really struggling with his bladder now he's, he's 16 17 this year something like that uh, so he's getting on um, and the cat's not far behind him uh, he's developed a limp one of his front legs, so he's going to have to go to the vets. And I've got another one of my Yorkies at the vets because our teeth are bad. So, with all the vet bills coming up, uh, I'm probably going to be stuck to it for a penny to scratch my house with. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, I feel stressed, but I don't know what I'm stressing over. I've had no get up and go this weekend though. Grass needs cutting. Uh, this this morning I was up late as well. But, um, just it's just killing me at the minute. Um, so just to think of the thing. I've got. I'm trying out uh, one of these car kit things. Uh, you know that plugs into your cigarette lighter. And I just caught it. But what is it doing? It's got like a flexible arm on it, you know, it sticks up and it connects to your radio. So I'm testing out that, there'll, there'll, there'll be a video on that. Uh, what else is there? Um, just trying to think. I've got a video to do when I get home from this, actually, that I'll be getting on with. Um, oh, I've got a I'm going to write a review as well, actually, on that. Do you remember that? Uh, I mean, it hasn't had a great deal of views, really. So, I mean, you know, they're not obviously of the greatest of interest to people, video-wise. Um, obviously, sometimes it's down to what you title your video, you know, as to whether it gets hits or not. Uh, but it hasn't had a lot of hits. And that's the one for that uh, Inertec Bohemian-style laptop back, where it's like a slipcase. Um, they sort of wanted me to do like a, a written review on it. Um, 
peculiar. They, they sort of noticed that I had a web page, and they'd sort of like, you know, if it gets enough hits through there, then maybe they'll, um, you know, maybe they'll sort of like link up with me on it and sort of like get it pushed out there and what have you. It, um, you know, but I mean, the web page doesn't get a massive amount of hits, really. You know, it'll go through fits and starts. Some days it gets loads of hits, but then you go and check the e-comments section, and you've got just loads of spam. I can pick up sort of like maybe 20 spam messages in a day. You know, and I just I don't even bother checking down it to be honest. Uh, it's just a real quick glance, see that it's all crap, and you know, uh, long chains of uh, gobbledygook and stuff like that. You know, so that it gets uh, picked up in the by all the other spam bots and what have you. And they're just trying to bloody hack into your page, basically. So, you know, I just delete them all, just empty the spam out completely. Um, what else is there? I've sort of, like I say, I've got this car kit, and there's a few other bits that the same firm sent me, actually. Um, and rather than coming from, like, um, a named sort of like uh, firm who are selling them out. The, this is, they've actually been sent direct from the manufacturer. The, uh, you know, from the Chinese manufacturer. So like, it's all quite sort of generic products. Um, you know, without any branding on them, sort of thing. But. Uh, you know, they're, they're all pretty nice products actually. There's a set of uh, another set of earbuds. And I'm still waiting for some other stuff to come that'll be coming from the. You know, I think it's, it'll be coming on the slow mo. Like uh, it's going to take a couple of weeks before I get them. Probably best part of a month. Uh, but they're, they're nice products. That's another couple of uh, pair of ear, pair of over ear headphones uh, or on ear. I'm not sure which they are actually yet. And then I've got some. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, some more earbuds uh, coming from the same firm, I think. So yeah, I mean it's it's all go video-wise, but you know, as some of you all know, uh, getting the time to do that is not that easy. You know, if you if you're at home all day doing that sort of thing, then great. You know, and in some some respects, I wish I was, but obviously uh, I'd have no money if I did that because <laughs> you. You certainly can't make money out of YouTube these days. Uh, not unless you know you're one of the really big sort of YouTubers, and even even they, uh, I think even some of them are finding it a struggle these days as well. So you know. But anyway, I'm going to go and get me veg and what have you for me beef dinner, uh, and then go home and get that all prepped up, and then hopefully before the wife gets back, I'll have a bit of time to uh, do some video work. <laughs> okay, guys. Really? Why on earth are you here? Laughing heart. Are you listening to me? Your life is your life. Come on, out. Don't let it be. Come on, you think you're playing now? Out. Go on, go. I don't know if you've noticed that recently. He's been popping up all over the place. But he, uh, well, I've seen him. Where is he? I think he's been in uh, Blackpool. Uh, Southport, been all over the bloody place. Well, he even he even pho photo bombed uh, Pirav, didn't he? At the uh, that O2 event, doing my head in. I tell you. Oh dear. Anyway, I'm going to start. Um, noisy buggers. I'm going to start doing my tea now. Uh, got all this veg to prepare, well they're in a great deal of it, but I've got this veg to prepare and I've got a chunk of beef to uh, seal up in the frying pan and get, in the, uh, and get it in the oven, so uh, then I'll be doing some video work, hopefully as long as the missus hasn't come back yet, so I'll catch you in a bit guys. What do you think guys, this is going to be my unboxing table, once I've changed that top, top was there, uh, got a bit of a bow in it, <laughs> it's uh, a bit of fun there. And that, it's supposed to go down, but it doesn't at the minute. Uh, it does actually rise and fall. It used to have some, yeah, it used to have a, God, what was it? It was a, 
it carried a heavy machine so like the the um the mechanism inside was actually tuned to um take the weight of this machine as well so you only literally needed a, a finger to sort of like push it up and down once you put your foot on that pedal um it was um for an optrician's machine of some kind but it's a machine they don't use anymore and it was got left in the factory where we are now and they said they didn't want it so i took the machine to the tip and i kept the table uh, so i don't know whether uh, to sort of like try and retune the uh, the actuator inside or whether just to add a lot of weight to the inside of it once uh, the got it in position but that's going to be my unboxing table because uh, mine got to uh, shall we say uh, repurposed today not by me by somebody else so I'm without a table uh, so I'm going to change the top on that I think and use that I've had it in the shed for ages I've just had to give it a bit of a clean down a bit of rust and rot on it here and there but I'm but fortunately it's like uh, cast, there's no real sort of like steel parts on it, so it's not like major dirty brown rust. But yeah, I'll, uh, like I say, a bit more work to do on it yet and see how it goes. Uh, but I definitely want to change that top because that's ruined. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my beef to finish cooking a bit more now. The veg are all done. Put them on a bit early this time. Never mind. It's a late tea anyway. The wife got back and that's it now it's all been go so all right fred how you doing my man there's no one here oh god horn goes off to think somebody's here so they think somebody's gonna come through the door so chaos as usual will reign nice day though Bit of cloud around, but nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to get on with this, but I'm going to get back to it a bit uh, just while I've got a few minutes before my beef's ready. But uh, I haven't stopped this afternoon really. It's been absolutely mental. Anyway, catch up in a bit, guys. So, there you go, guys. Uh, I've got it as far as I can today now until it's bored for it. Uh, those came out of the top when I uh, started to strip it there, like the inserts that these screwed into from underneath here, like so. So, you know, they, but uh, I've got them off now anyway. It was just uh, these these two here that were stuck in. Uh, I've just been measuring it, uh, I was sort of interested in the height. Uh, what are we at? 700, that's as low as it goes. And that's, uh, well, that's it's just below sort of table height, table height about uh, 30 inches. So, uh, yeah, I've got it all worked here as well, so uh, I, as you can see it's pretty, oh, you know, I've got to put quite a bit of strain into that and then it comes right up to this sort of height, like sort of waist height, so you know I could use it standing or sitting, so um, yeah, so I'm just going to get myself a bit of MDF or something to make a top. We run the router that round to round it off and I can clamp lights to the edge and all that sort of thing. So yeah, it should be alright though. I'm quite uh, sort of pleased with it. Those bits can go in the bin. So uh, yeah, I'll just give it a bit more cleaning off and away it'll go. So uh, yeah, I've had my tea anyway. Very nice it was too. Um, a note to uh, Darren, Darren Strezak from America, he said to uh, try when you uh, cook your beef, do it in olive oil. So uh, I actually, what I did was I didn't actually cook it in the olive oil, what I did was I sealed it in the olive oil, uh, in the frying pan first. And uh, it did make quite a difference to the taste actually, it gave it quite a, just trying to think, can't really describe it, but it, it did give it a really nice taste. So I uh, really enjoyed it actually. I've got a good chunk of it left, so it's going to probably do me a couple of days worth of sandwiches sort of thing for work and that. Uh, I've got my dishwasher on, although I've still got more to do. <laughs> uh, can't get it all in one load. So, uh, but yeah, I'm uh, 
So yeah, I'm quite sort of pleased with that. One of the brakes is broken on the wheels line, but I'm not worried about that. I'll probably just take that piece of metal off, to be honest. The other three are working, but I'm not sure that I need them because it's pretty heavy uh, and it's a carpeted floor upstairs, so it's not going to roll particularly. So um, yeah, I think once I get a top on that, and I'm not too worried about the colour of it because I'll put um, I'll just put a white sheet over it to be honest, uh, unless I happen to be able to get hold of a nice bit of white coated stuff. I don't know. I'll have to see what's kicking around because I don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, you know, I've got enough vet bills coming up, so I'm, I don't want to be spending a lot of money on it. But uh, as long as it does me, I'll be happy. So yeah, um, I'm going to go into Driffield one last trip, uh, and then I shall be away. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I ain't got any videos done. I don't think I'm going to now anyway. I just don't really have a way of doing it. So um, on that note, uh, ebb and flow. <sighs> Edging closer Back again, expanding more. Really? What are you that doing? Point just before the pressure bursts. <sighs> oh, no, no, Capillary I'll rush. Um, Tension. I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Resisting. See you.